What is going on everybody? Today we have some huge news from VGC. So basically, I'm not going to keep this video long. It's probably going to be two minutes or less. I just want to go over this really quickly so that you guys know what's going on. And I was surprised by this and a lot of people were. So I just want to make sure you guys know what's going on. So first off, most importantly, there is a Players Cup 2 obviously starting starts thursday september 24th 8 p.m eastern and it ends sunday at 8 p.m eastern now everybody gets 50 battle points which doesn't really matter um but the biggest deal first off it's only open to masters division which is anybody born before 2005 and it's using ranked battle series 5 now obviously pokemon sword and shield uses a series 6 but that is not happening i don't know why i don't know who decided that that's a good idea but we can't control that all we can control is that series 5 rules are now allowed so nothing is banned except for obviously like mythicals and the uh cover pokemon um so this the reason this is a big news obviously this used to say series 6 this actual article was series 6 up until i guess a few hours ago and on the Switch, it always said Series 5, and we all thought it was broken and it was actually Series 6. But the Switch was right, and this was actually wrong. They are changing it to Series 5 rules, not Series 6 rules. So just keep that in mind. Nothing will be banned except for the normal bans. Um, there's 15 battles per day, and if you don't hit 15 battles on that day, you can carry them over. So like if you play 10 battles on uh, Sunday... I, or, sorry, if you play 10 battles on Thursday, I believe you can play 20 battles on uh, Friday. I don't know how that works. I'm not positive about that, but that, to me, that's what this looks like. So, um, yeah, that's what, I, that's what I would say. You can sign up from September 9th up till September 24th, a minute before it actually starts. And the way you do it is really simple. You just go to Pokemon Sword and Shield, go to Versus, you select Battle Stadium, it'll connect you online competitions, and you press Search, and it will be the first one. Um, so pretty much why is this huge deal? Okay, so why is this important you guys may be asking? First off, this is why it's important. Incineroar used 43% of teams in Series 5, viable. Togekiss, 41% viable. Rillaboom, 41% viable. So most teams are going to have the same core that they always have, which is Incineroar, Togekiss, Rillaboom. Tyranitar, Dragapult, Cinderace, Torkoal. Venusaur, and DD Female, and Male, Porygon 2. Exegirl, Whimsicott, and Gyarados are all legal again, meaning Hatterene and Didi going to be very common again. Okay, all these strategies that Mimikyu is also viable and Magneton is viable. Not that there's so much use in doubles, but they are allowed. There's no bans except for the normal mythicals. So expect Incineroar on every team, Tokus on every team, and Rillaboom on every team, just like they pretty much were last series. This is a big deal because you can no longer practice. You can't practice on the Switch. Because on the Switch, it's Series 6. You can't use these mods. You can only practice on Showdown in VGC 2020. So just keep that in mind. If you want to practice, go to Pokemon Showdown and practice there. That's pretty much all the big news. I My channel has some news coming up, but I'll save that. Just, keep that, just know that I did a draft. I'll be doing an analysis over it, and I have my first game soon. And I will be streaming all my Players Cup games. So yeah, I'm sorry that I have such a short video, but I will be streaming later building a team. So if you guys want to swing by, help me, or I can help some of you guys build the team, whatever. But yeah, I'll see you guys. Make sure you like the video, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.